All right, so you're trying to find out what is the best way to wash your car. You've looked everywhere, you've tried this and that, you've done all this research. Well, you don't have to research anymore because in this one video, I'm gonna show you what you need and how to do it the best way. This is how you should wash your car. If you wanna be that weekend warrior professional detailer, here you go, let's check it out. Okay, so you want to uh, know what to use. So let's go through some of the stuff that I use really quick. Um, pretty much everything you need is right here on this table. Uh, if you have a pressure washer, uh, this is gonna be a video for you. I have another thing you can use if you don't have a pressure washer. Uh, I could, I'll make a whole other video on that later. But anyway, with the pressure washer, this is everything you need. This is what you should be doing. First, get you one of these little snubby things. This one's from uh, Torque, it's a Torque Snubby. It attaches to your your pressure washer line just right there now I have quick connects on all of my stuff um, so quick connect on there you just attach it on that way when you're using your foam cannons like this you know you're just right here close and you got more control versus having this long stick everywhere so a little snubby and then get you a, a good pressure washer hose like this one here um, that I got from Uberflex uh, it doesn't knot, it's really flexible, and it's not the short one, it's just always tense and everything, so you can't ever use it. Anyway, so I got this, and then you need a good wheel cleaner, so you always want to start with your wheels, right? So, the brake buster, PNS brake buster is really good, so get you, you can pick you up some of this. Adam's wheel and tire is also really good, and um, with this, you can actually use it in a foam cannon. So, I got three different foam cannons, I actually have this currently mixed up, and you'll see it in the video and my MTM PF22.2 foam cannons mixed up three to one in here. Uh, this is how I like to use my wheel cleaners. It goes on nice. It helps you break down all that stuff off your wheels. But anyway, and this has got rust inhibitors in it. So this is a really good wheel cleaner. Um, you cannot buy this off the shelf in stores. You do have to order it. You have to order this as well. And so while we're on the foam cannons, let's go ahead and go over here. Get you a good car shampoo, such as the uh, Kosh Kimi Gentle Snow Foam. I love this stuff right here. This is really good. Again, you cannot walk into the store and buy this. You do have to order it. Uh, but this is probably the best uh, snow foam you can use for a foam cannon to clean your car. This is my favorite one right here. And I do mix it up into my foam cannon here that MJJC sent me. Uh, this is their foam cannon S version 3.0. Uh, this thing is fantastic. So get you a foam cannon. Uh, don't mix the products up. So you know you don't want to use this for your wheel cleaner and then turn on use it for your car wash. So make sure you're mixing the two. You have two separate ones for that. And then you want your brushes for your tires, uh, wheels and tires. So you need your uh, dedicated tire brush like I have here. This is a Chemical Guys Blue Stiffy brush. And then also I have another brush here for the, the actual contact on the face of the wheel. This is another Chemical Guys brush just for the wheels. So make sure you guys have some of those. The one that fell over right here, this is the I can't remember if it's called Red Rocket, Show Car Brush, whatever, but you take this and this gets in some of those tighter places, especially behind your calipers, get in there and pull that dirt out. You can also use this, they got a rim packa. Um, I have a whole set, I got like six of these things. They got some that are angles and are bigger, smaller. So I use these a lot too. These are good for that. Throw those back in my bucket. Now I have one more brush here. I use this for the calipers. Get you a little something small like this, you can get in there. And don't drop it though. <laughs> so you can get in there and get those calipers clean. You can uh, get the calipers in some small places like around your valve stems and stuff like that. You get this. Have a dirt trap. Now if you see I got two buckets here. Use two buckets, one for your wheels and tires, one for the car, or you can use one as your rinse bucket, one as your wash bucket, however you want to do that. But make sure you have two buckets and you have dirt traps in them such as this. And then you have a good microfiber wash mitt for your contact part on your paint. You can also get one of these and use it on your wheels, which a lot of times I use this one on my wheel. I have a rag company. Um, I have other wash pads and wash mitts that I use. So this is one that I just had readily available here, quick and easy. All right, and then you need a good drying towel, such as the Chemical Guys Woolly Mammoth. This is my favorite drying towel. Of all the drying towels I've used, I've used those chamois and all that stuff, but this one right here is the best. So. Get you a good, good drying towel. Now with this is here, in the drying phase, you can also use a quick detail spray or something like that that you can um, 
get off any excess that you may have missed. Also helps to alleviate some of the swirls and scratches you may get by gliding your, your towel across the top. Um, and you can put on a little shine and protect at the same time. There's several out there. I like the Chemical Guys' uh, hybrid, their spray-on, ceramic, whatever it is. Their Stunner Car Care's got a good one. This one I use a lot. This is highly concentrated, very strong. This is from um, Optimum Technologies. This is their OptiSeal. This is Optimum Polymer Technology, sorry. And uh, this is their OptiSeal. You can spray it on dry and use it as a sealant or you can use it as a drying aid. I like to use it as a drying aid. So let me get in there a little bit closer for you guys so you can see that because it's kind of hard to see it back here. But this is this high concentrated, pretty expensive little bottle. Then when you come to your tire shine, get you a good tire, get you a good tire shine. Um, at, right now I'm using Griot's vinyl and rubber dressing. Um, my favorite in a, in a good uh, applicator pad of some type. My favorite one is VRP from Chemical Guys. It's hands down the best. But um, anyway, guys, everything you need to wash your car good, the right way, professionally. At home, you can do it yourself. Everything's right here. Most of the stuff you will need to order online or you can go into a store and get most of the stuff off the shelf. Um, so I do have uh, videos on most of all this stuff right here. You can check that out. And I also have um, how to use all of these separately in their own separate like mini short videos. Today's video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm doing the whole process, just kind of how to do it. So anyway, this is all great stuff, guys. So make sure you guys check it out. Links to everything will be below in the description. And um, let's go wash the car. A little something that I like to do is I like to um, put a little bit of whatever I'm using into my buckets. So <clears throat> I'm going to be taking some of this and just pouring a little bit in there about like that about 20 milliliters i actually the the ratio for this is a thousand milliliters to put 20 in i think i put about 40 or 50 in my foam can which is a suggestion from one of the viewers and it works great so i put about the same in there and you don't have to do this part but i do like to put a little bit of what again like whatever i'm using in a bucket but not much because this stuff is very strong just a little bit, a little dab. So again, I do like to put that in there and then you use your pressure washer to mix it up. Use your best judgment on whether or not you should pre-rinse or not. Um, mine isn't that dirty. It's been driven in rain a couple times, so I didn't need to do that. So just gonna take it. And here we go, guys. So, that 
Well, it's clean. It's clean. So, I'm in a garage. All the doors are closed. I have a, uh, a, t a heater over there. So, it says it's 70 degrees in here right now. So, it's temperature controlled. Not in the sun. So, you, can, you don't have to rush this. You can do it the right way. So, don't do it out in the sun. If you have to do it in the sun, you have no other choice. Some of these products you don't want to use. There's other ones out there like Adam's Megaphone you can use in direct sunlight. There's some other products where the wheels you can use in direct sunlight. Don't do what I'm doing in direct sunlight though. Pull it into your garage and just mop it out. You know, do yourself a favor. So let's get you guys zoomed out to see the rest of the car. Alright, so you're zoomed back out now. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and knock out the rest of the wheels. Now because I did this one up close for you guys, I'm going to speed this up and I'm going to do this in uh, real time for you guys here and um, how I would normally do it if I wasn't just, you know, making a video about how I'm doing it. So, we'll go ahead and do this real quick for you guys. Now, next up is going to be the pre-wash. So I'm going to spray this on there. It's going to soak on the car. And while it's doing that, I clean up the bucket from the wheels. And then I come back, rinse it off, and then I uh, wash it, contact wash. So here we go. All right, so pre-wash stage, still got the solution left. So when it comes time for the contact wash, I have to rinse this off. I'll probably crank up the foam a little bit on here um, and get it on there. So right now it's just gonna be pulling all that dirt down before you actually contact it. So again, pre-wash, like get all that dirt off, and then you can come back with the contact wash to get anything that's left behind. And now I'm gonna rinse up a little bucket while it's doing this thing. Well, there we are. All right, so that's the pre-wash, and um, you can see I got a lot of moisture going on in here now. So um, what I'm going to do is my battery is getting low. So <clears throat> battery is getting low on the camera. So I'm going to go. We've done the pre-wash. Next up, all I got to do is the contact dry and uh, put tire shine on, and it's done. So I'm going to open the door up to let some of this air out while I go in and change my batteries in the camera because it's getting low. Not gonna believe it, camera battery died. None of the batteries are charged. So that's a fail. I don't normally use that much time. I don't film videos this long, so I normally don't need all these batteries, but I need the batteries. So I got a backup, old school. We're going with the Razer Siren Bluetooth mic now linked into the cell phone. Let me go, let's know what you think. Do you like this better? Does it sound better? Does it look better? Whatever. Anyway, we're to the stage now where we will be doing the contact wash. So all that means is we're going to uh, foam it back down 
and I'm going to, we're going to foam it back down and then I'm going to be um, actually using the wash mitt and washing the car. Now the car looks pretty clean. The gentle snow foam from Kosh Kimmy got most of it off, but there is some left like on the back and stuff like that. You can see some dirt here and there, but here we go. We're going to foam it down and do the contact wash. Always a good idea, run water through this. And you're done with it so it doesn't clog up anything. And it's clean, just like that. Just uh, make sure you do that. I've never had one clog, I don't know if it's because I do that, I don't know if it's, I have no idea. But I do that and I know a lot of people online from my bread also to do that, so. Alright, we're going to use this mitt. This mitt is almost on its last leg. I have two new ones in there, I got a mitt and a pad, a wash pad, so when you do this, you start from top to bottom. Do your Wilson tires first, the dirtiest part of the car, and then do top to bottom. When you do this, do straight lines. Don't do any circular, circular motions, nothing like that. Make sure you go in a straight line, just like this. Go with the flow. We'll put, pick up this wiper right there, right there. Now, this is a small car. It's very small. I mean, you can see me standing next to it. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a very small car. So it doesn't take very long. So come back to your bucket, push it down on that grip guard in there. Make sure you get all that wear off that could be going there. And get it off into the bucket. Bring it back on a clean mitt onto the car. Again, front to back. None of the circular motion stuff. You can snake it, that's okay. You kind of like what I just did right there. You can snake it. You see I flip that over. I'm run it straight down through here now. Just like that. Okay, now I'm doing this. I haven't went back to my bucket yet because I just flipped over my wash notes up to the side. Now I'll go back to my bucket. I'm gonna push it down on that mitt in there, get all that dirt off that could be in there. Now you're working back to your car. Okay, this is a small car, so I can do most of this in one motion right here. If you watch me do the SUV or something bigger, then I go back multiple times more often. I cannot get one pass like this on the side of the car because it is bigger. Back to the bucket, move it around. So what am I going to go next? Let's go to the front. Notice I'm not touching my wheels. Even though they should be clean, just in case we're not going to touch the wheel. And if you see up here on the front, I'm kind of snaking a little bit right here. Now, we got the dirty part of the car. Bugs, especially live in Florida. You were like that, you're going to have all these bugs on the front. Here where I'm at, it's gotten a little bit chilly. Not crazy cold. So there's not really any bites. Again, flip over the mitt. Pull all that dirt down. Just like that. I'm gonna go down right there. We're gonna attack these bugs here. There's some bugs right here. Alright. Come back to the bucket. that where it drains onto the car just so you know extra soap on the car make it nice and clean anyone that knows me knows that my car will stay clean if it's supposed to rain tomorrow my car is dirty guess what it's sunny today it's getting clean just in case I go out and it always been that way even with my bikes sport bikes have had a lot of those always keep them clean even on your glass, straight to front to back. Don't do none of that circular motions. You can put swirls in your glass. 
Yes, it's glass, and yes, it can happen. You don't want to do that. Now, I can only go with the pace I'm going right now where I can actually film and um, talk to you guys because I'm in my garage in a controlled environment. If I was outside, even if it's a little bit cloudy out, I might not be able to do this. So, I'm only able to do this because of my current setup. You notice I've not touched the back of the car yet. That's by design. The back of this car, in most of any sports car, goes off a lot of soot sometimes. Could mean you're running lean. You know, there's different things you can see on the back of your car if you're running rich, lean, things like that. But this takes here, just by the top of the car it is. It doesn't get that black soot on it. So instead of what it gets is just a lot of dirt. <laughs> it just throws it up. The way it's designed with that rear diffuser and stuff, it's a um, big rear diffuser. It pushes the wind away from the car, pushes the heat out of the engine. And so the back of the car is really dirty. And also, if you notice, I don't know if you really can notice this or not on the camera, I'm not applying pressure. Do not apply pressure. Let your soap and your mitt, your pad, whatever you're using, let it do all of the work for you. Here we go. Very far to the car now. The back side. Isn't it? Everything's back side dirty. Ha ha ha. Dad jokes. <laughs> it's just dirty. And so I don't want to get all this dirt off the diffuser and stuff that's back here and put it on the my car. Even though it's silver, it'll still show. Even if you got a white car, it'll show. Not only does just white cars. I mean, it supplies the all the cars. Sorry about the audio difference. Battery died, and I was already in the process of doing this. So here we are. All right. You'll see something that a lot of people forget to do: door jams. So this is what you do. Bring it out so you don't get too much of it. Now we're going to hit this door jam right here. There we go. Door jam. Nice door jam. Keep them clean. Boom. Now we'll go to the other side. Now, time to rinse. Boom. So, I'm going to open up the door, let some of this moisture out, and um, next up we're going to dry the car. Moisture's out, so I'm going to leaf blow off the car, that's what I do. Um, the minimized contact points. Next up, I'm going to finish drying it off. I'm going to be spraying the stuff on it that I have um, the OptiSil and using my woolly mammoth. Because the temperature is within range of being able to use this, again, this is the OptiSil. Because the temperature is what it is, I can use this. You can't use it if it's too cold, too hot, it won't work. So I'm just going to, it's highly concentrated, so you don't need a lot. And just like that, you just wipe your hands. Same way we wash straight lines, guys. Straight lines. Guys and gals, straight lines, when you're done with that circular nonsense. Put, put up your wipers, get underneath those. I usually attack the glass first. <clears throat> just because you don't want any water spots on your glass. You don't want any water spots on anything, but. The glass tends to 
Be very susceptible to it. Again, you can use a quick detailer for this stage. Any quick detailer really will work. If your mirror's folded, it's a good idea to fold in the mirrors to get in any crevices that may have water in it so that when you drive off or anything like that, your water runs out and you get like a little water spot with the things or lines on your paint. That's because water was in there and you didn't fully get it out before driving off. I coat every car with something when I'm driving, whether it's this, a quick detail spray, it's got a sealant in it, some type of spray ceramic. So if anybody comes to me to get their car washed, just know that this is how I do it, and I also spray some of the stuff on there. I don't do that so much anymore, unless you know that I do it. Um, I did it more so in some other places. Not so much anymore, because I got a lot of other things going on, but. I got enough on my towel of this sealant stuff to finish it up, so I'm gonna put the cat back on that. Use a lot, something like this. Dry off my tires with it the rest of the way, they're not completely dry yet. Now, in this car, it's got current strand of brakes, it has steel rotors, so I don't have to spray anything on them to keep them from rusting over so that when you hit your brakes, it doesn't blow out all that orange everywhere. The SUV does. So, with the SUV, there would be another step to all of this, which I would simple and fast and it would have already been done by now but uh, there's uh, one more step to all of it but um, this is pretty much the final step so the last step to properly cleaning your car would be to get in the car and back it up 
and where the tires are on the ground, you hit that because you didn't get tires on it. But um, let's get you off of here. So, oh, I'm hot and sweaty now. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you just watched me do my entire car start to finish. This video's gonna be long as heck, but uh, hey, it is what it is, you know. If you watched the whole video, you're still here. Thank you guys for watching it. This is the last video of 2023. Man, I'm a mess. And uh, this is gonna be my New Year's upload. And then the next video you guys see that's a full length video will be 2024, because this video will be uploading probably November 30th. And um, that's it, y'all. There's the R8, it's clean. You just watched my entire detail, start to finish. There'll be some spots that are fast forwarded and stuff like that, because I know this video is gonna be like two hours long. So that is how long I spend on my car. So. Again, if you've watched this, thank you. And if you're watching it, it's on New Year's. We are today, this morning when I woke up, we hit a thousand subs. Thank you guys so much for that. And um, that's awesome, guys. We hit a thousand. We still get the watch hours up to get the partnership going. And um, yeah, till next time, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff, turn on notifications so you see all my new videos. And um, if you haven't subscribed, I know I keep saying that, but please subscribe. Watch the videos. Watch the videos. Everything I've used, all the product links will be in the description below. Go to my Amazon store. It's all there. And um, yeah, until next time, guys. See y'all. Bye.